check, check, mic check. <clears throat> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Grimwit's Halloween Horror Show. Next up, we are doing something that I've always wanted to play and I've had sitting on my hard drive forever, but I never got around to. The Park. Alright, finally. Let's get this thing working. Good God, what has happened? Oh, okay. So this isn't working. There we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, sorry about all that. Technical difficulties, but... I seem to be doing all right now. Let me move this over a little bit. I'm trying to see. No, that's not gonna work. So let me move this down a little bit. I'm checking the levels here. I didn't realize there would be so much issue here. Absolutely put on subtitles. Still quiet. Maybe a little bit. Oh, fuck, just do it the whole way. Okay. Okay, I think we got all the technical difficulties out of the way. I'll just... Uh, back. Wait. Darn it. I did want subtitles on. Okay. Let's play the park. We'll check out extras later. And, um... Yeah, let's do it. Best played in a dark room, wearing headphones. Check, check. Details that are disturbing to some players. Okay. All right. So, I, I guess we should see a psychiatrist after all this is said and done. Yep. Fun.com presents... In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. Oh, all right. And we have trouble. Oh my god, we have 100% trouble. This is not working. There we go. That was fucking weird. Also, I love... I love the voice on this woman. I'm not your mother. I'm the thing that became from your mother. Let's go and ask for information, I guess. Ooh, they have bingo. I love bingo. Attention, patrons. The park is now closed. Oh, shit. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. 
Employees, prepare the park for shutdown. Hello. Hmm. Oh, here's somebody. That's fine. How did you unlock the gates for him? How did he get through? What, did he climb over the top? Wait for mommy, Callum! Catch me, mommy! Oh, for crying out loud, Callum. Oh, there he is. Really? I cannot something climb. something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Here. This doesn't look too difficult to get lost in. We have the House of Horrors, the Octotron, bumper cars, Ferris wheel, roller coaster, and the Tunnel of Tales. But more importantly, what the fuck happened? All right, Ferris. Stay where you are! Run, you bitch, run! What? Stop, Callum! Callum, come back here right now! That Callum, stop being a bitch. Ugh. Okay. This is weird because shift toggles run. It doesn't. You don't hold it down. Wait, what? I think this belongs to Calm. Why did. What? Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Holy hell, what the fuck is wrong with this text? It's okay, Chad. I still believe in you. What is this about? Uh, I cannot read it properly. Purchase the land on Simon Island for Pitry, I might add, 
Whatever an Archie Henderson did to the locals, just the mention of his name had people slamming doors and locking shutters for the moment I arrived on the island. My lawyers had arranged everything in advance, but the release still happened, had to come to deliver the keys to me. A realtor. I can't read this text very well. He took it upon himself to offer me another warning. I don't know what you're planning to do with this land, Mr. Well, oh, pardon me, Winter. I've had too much to drink. But <clears throat> the soil here is better with a curse carried from an old country. Old Mont Henderson, he did terrible dark things. The land remembers, sir. I dismissed him shortly afterwards, mostly amused by his pathetic attempts of warning me off. I had a great vision for this place, and the will to see that vision through to the very end. Atlantic Island Park. The mace, the place is perfect, and I cannot imagine it being anything else. This is short of something amazing. Yeah, I have trouble reading that. Sorry. What the hell is this? We're in the Tunnel of Tales. Stop! Tell him! Wait, what are we telling him to stop? Where is he? Do you see? Oh, fuck! Tell him! Stay Callum. where you are! Come on, Mommy! Tell him! Ah, oh, goddammit, Callum. Wait, why don't I just wait for him to come out the other end? No, that's stupid. Let's do this. It's not always obvious, but I am right-clicking in order to make her talk. Where are you? Callum, don't. You'll be swallowed under the weight of the world. Come out, sweetie. Callum, where did you go? Callum, where did you go? Uh, okay. Fuck. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel, and a girl named Gretel. Ooh. They were very poor, and had very little to bite or sup. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband, we will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. What? No, my wife, I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, 
the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. But don't leave me in suspense. What happens next? The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. my house an old woman emerged from the house sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes oh you dear children who brought you here just come in and stay with me no harm will come to you but Hansel and Gretel stayed back for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Oops. Once inside the house, the old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said, the opening is here, and she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, <laughs> they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. Um, okay, that last bit was a little more horrific than I remember the story going. Why would she be hungry? She's in a house of food. Like the entire house is made of food. Sup, duck. Well, um, I'd like off now. I would very much like off now. 
and I can't help but notice that my son was not in there. No, I'm good with... I don't need to ride the swan again. Callum, stay where you are! Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest, the birds, the old witch, even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. I have to use the restroom. Oh, that's the men, sorry. <sighs> Maybe not. Callum, stay where you are. I heard that. I'm missing a missing a Chad. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. This way. Hello? This way, Mommy. Can we all agree that, uh, this woman is insane? I think she's crazy. Wait for mommy! <laughs> Another accident. This place. As a teddy bear, I cannot read this note with this noise. Alright, let me see what I can do. Despite the constant interruptions to work, Atlantic Island Park will be opening on time. The governor is booked to cut the ribbon, so the only real question is whether we will have any customers. I'm not truly worried the customers will come out of simple curiosity. I deduce what was needed from the handwritings of Archie Henderson. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's astonishing to think that the resonance of positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process. Henderson himself chose to use negative and that caused some of the taint that still lingers in this place. I will not make his mistake. Very soon I will know if this has been all for nothing. <clears throat> give, give me that teddy bear. That's the reason why we came in here. I want that teddy bear. Hmm. It's missing an eye. It's got a knife in its eye. We'll find a better teddy bear. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Catch me, Mommy. They use directional listenings to kind of tell you which way to go. I think Chad was up there. Where are you? Hmm. Um. Now would be a good time to tell you people that I actually kind of hate 
certain parts of carnivals. Like, I love the food because I'm a glutton, but I hate the rides. It'll be fine. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me dizzy. I, I don't... I don't like it. I don't like it. The guy just... snapped. Those poor kids. Eyewitness report. Atlantic Island Park incident. Officer on duty, Sheriff F. Bannerman. Witness name, Creed Norman. On the Creed. We were waiting for our turn on the ride, Frank and me and the boys. This fellow in a chipmunk suit is making an ice carving while people took photographs. Lawrence want, wanted me to go over to him, but i always been a bit wary of the those suits that give me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the ice, and... At first, we thought he was making some animal, like a tiger or a lion, but the more and more the ice fell away when we first looked, it was like a human face smiling out of the block of ice. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about it. All the proportions or something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little bit faster, like you were prey. Why was this... Who is this woman that talks like this? And that thing, the ice, was a hunter. What? But then the teenagers walked up and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit. And then he went berserk, the teenager, I guess. For a moment it was chaos. Everybody was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground. He was stabbed in the stomach. Or no, he... He was stab, stab, stab. Who writes like this? He was stab, stab, stabbing with a pick ice, and blood was spraying people and were screaming, and Frank and I, and the kids, were dragging them away from uh, as fast as we could. Last I saw before Frank dragged me away was the eyeball of one of the poor kids that landed in the ice sculpture, making a horrible creature look more, do you know how hard it is to remove an eyeball do you know how many different muscles there are attached to that eyeball an ice pick's not gonna cut it like literally ice picks don't cut they pick sorry sorry didn't mean to pull you out of the game come to mommy callum I have an item in my inventory. When you play Steam enough, ooh, ooh, I'll get you in a second. No, I wanted to use them. Guess not. Oh, hey. Yeah, that's right. This is my speed. Alright, let's see if our boy's in here. Callum, come back here right now! Oh. Um, okay. Uh, I did not want this. I, I did not want this at all. I, I do not like this. This is... This is... Mm, mm. No. Not a fan. Not a fan. Callum? Callum, you around here? Oh, boy. Yeah. A lot of spinning around. Whoa, was that somebody at... Was there somebody in the booth? We'll see it on the way by. What? What? What is happening? What was that? Oh, hi! Um, hmm. Uh...
Okay, was there somebody in the booth? Okay. Yeah, that was definitely a thing. Wasn't there a Polaroid or something? Oh, it was on the other side. Okay. Well. Let's take a look at this Polaroid, and then we'll take a look at the rest of the, the place. <sighs> oh, I remember this. <sighs> There's so much about this picture that needs dissecting. First off, we have the man in the background. Callum is ready to roll. That look on that face. Can I, can I keep this? Oh, I wanted to keep it. Yep. Yep, this was a thing. This isn't a game, Callum. Follow the trail, he says, but I don't know which trail. There's multiples. Mm. Let's continue over towards the Ferris wheel, I guess. Or is this the trail? Um, okay. Frustrated by the fact that the plans seem incomplete. I know as well as anybody, the rules of the game can be changed with every with enough money. But no matter how much money it talks, it can't conjure up missing plans from the air. I've tried contacting the organization who said Spend me, send me these plans, and they are stonewalling me. Every contact that I, I had, every meeting place that I have watched, are swept away. What? Meet? What? I have a sinking feeling that I've been swindled. We've gone ahead with what we could find in the plans regarding the harvesting machine? Ha what? The transport mechanism, etc. I probably let Nicholas name something cute for the day we open the park. They will be rides after all. Mm, it's really hard to read these. You know what? I'm going to give it... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in a cut for YouTubes. And uh, we'll be right back.